All right, here we go. We have our 1,000 souls. Let's unlock our camo. There it is. All right, now we need to collect souls some more, finish unlocking this stuff, and we'll be good. All right, so this is going to be first method. Loaded in with nothing, so if I die, it's not like I'm losing anything. Make sure you have a throwing knife so you can get a kill. Get a weapon right off the bat. Oh, there's a soul already. Let's see here. There's a bot right here. There's a hemlock. We're looking for a shotgun that is really, really good. Oh, there's a bot right there. Oh, and those are the two shotguns I need. All right, let's self. If you have the solo starting self revive, it's really nice. Definitely helps out, especially doing this. Yeah, you have the shotgun I want. You have both have the shotguns. Holy crap. They're going to kill me if I'm not careful. All right, there's a shotgun I want. This thing is, like, really, really powerful against these bots for some reason. Alright, let's start going get some souls here. Like, look at that range on that. There is a spawn up here that we need to be careful of. So we just need to keep that in mind. And we're actually going to work our way through these large groups of buildings. So here, over here, through here, up here. These are the areas that I'm going to be looking to work through. Just because they have a lot of bots. There's a bot right here in front of us. And you want to go to areas that have a lot of bots. I heard another bot shooting at me over here. Yep. And if you noticed, I'm not really too worried about looting. Just because, again, if I die, it's not that big of a deal. I'm just here for souls. There was a bot in here. Where'd he go? Let's see here. In the course of like almost four minutes, we have. 15 souls. Get a shot. Okay. So this area is pretty cleared out. We're going to start working our way over to the next area. Yeah, I really think shotgun is like, or this shotgun is really, really good. Like, look at this range. More bots in front of me.
All right, let's work our way up through this group of buildings. Those are the guys you really have to worry about. Those shotgunners are just brutal. Holy crap. There's another one that way I need to be careful of. Yeah, those guys right there. But there's so many bots on Bondle that you can get souls so fast. Oh, there's a couple different guys here. I think that's a player. Maybe not. And there we are. We are maxed on souls. So now what we can do, we can just go ahead and back out. There we go. All right. Now, if you wanted to, you could load back into Vondel, do it again, get the souls, get the max number of souls, and then back out. But what we're going to do, I'm going to show you the other way that I've been getting souls, which this way is a little more tricky. But it's going to be another option for you to get the souls that you are looking for. All right, so we're loading in. Again, no gear, nothing. Need to go for a vehicle. And then we're just going to go right over to the train. And we're kind of far away, so this might not work this time. All right, let's see if anybody's been here. Here boxes, see boxes, nobody's been here. All right. Gotta watch out for these trip wires when going through the train. Ooh, see? That's what I'm saying right there. Defuse that. Defuse that. Make sure you grab these heat resistant keys as you're going through. And if you find a claymore, pick it up. Because you're going to put claymores... There you go. They'll see it, but uh, that's okay. We're gonna put ammunitions down. We're gonna put another claymore here somewhere. Well, there's a claymore right there. We're gonna try and leave that one up. We have some turrets here we have to take down. Oof. kind of see why this isn't necessarily the best and why I like Vondel more. Okay, scrapped on that one. There's another turret. This is all dependent on if people even come here. But you can see how I'm getting souls. Oof, that almost killed me. Need to be careful here. Another heat resistant key, another soul. Defuse this. This is what I really like. These proximity mines are really good. Hopefully I don't die here. Oof. Need to be careful, that mine might kill me if I go too close. Alright. Another soul. 
We have double claymore right here. So this is gonna be a little bit tricky. There we go. Alright, now with those heat resistant keys, we can open up all these boxes. The UAV, let's pop that. Nobody. I don't really think anybody's coming to train anymore. There's a soul. Soul. You notice I'm not really worried about picking up any of the uh, um, armor plates or anything like that. I'm just looking for the souls out of these containers. Alright, we'll open up this. There's a mortar. Don't really care about the heart of the train. So we're just gonna work our way back. And finish looting the train here. Play more. Because there are other boxes back here. So let's finish looting here, because we can still get souls. There's another soul. There's a heat-resistant key. Another heat-resistant key. Another soul. People died close, so we need to be careful of that. Another soul. And we're getting close to the end. We'll see how many souls we had from this. That is it. There's a turret. So we got 19 out of 25 souls. So this is a way that you can do this, but you have to worry about people like that. I think he's not even that good. He couldn't even finish me. If you guys are enjoying this haunting event, you should definitely check out where I fought the Butcher and Swamp Thing with swords over here on the right. And if you want to see a solo guide for fighting every boss for the haunting event, check out this video over on the left. See you guys in the next video.